Hey guys, had a bunch of people ask me how I get mail and how I have an address and a driver's license and stuff for legal forms. So today is just a quick video showing you guys how I do that. So when we first moved into the RV, I had a few friends that let me use their address for my legal address, and I'd get like some mail sent to them, uh, and then they'd just kind of send it along to me wherever I was on the road. But then I found this sweet service um, called a digital mailbox, and it's pretty much just like a P.O. box, but they also take pictures of your mail and send it to you in an app, so you can see if you want to like shred it, if it's junk mail, or if it's stuff that you want, you can have them uh, resend it to you uh, at the touch of a button. It's a pretty cool little app. But if you're also in town and just don't uh, have an address for it to get shipped to, you can go in there and pick it up, which is what I do. They have a physical location in pretty much every major city. I use the service that I do because it's in the middle of New Orleans. It's really easy to go pick up my mail if I'm ever in town. Uh, it's just kind of center of the city. So it's all pretty straightforward. If you want to pick up a package, uh, you just say you want to pick it up, pick the date and time you want to go get it, and then you just drive into town, go to the location, and they'll hand over your packages, you sign for them, and that's pretty much it. But the best part about it, and why I chose it over a P.O. box, is it works pretty much like a P.O. box, except you get that other cool stuff. It's not super expensive, I think it's like $5 a month, but it's also not a P.O. box, so you can use it as a legal address. So legally, all of my uh, license, registration, all of my legal work, all of my taxes go through that location, and it is my legal address, though it isn't a physical address. And it's really easy to change. They have a bunch of these sites all over the country, like I said before, so you can you know, have a legal address in whatever city you want. That's pretty much it. It's really straightforward, really easy. If you don't have any relatives or friends that want to let you use their address, or if you would just rather be more in charge of your mail, and uh, if you have like sensitive stuff coming in, like I order a bunch of stuff off the internet, and if you want to know exactly when it comes in so you can go pick it up or have it forwarded to you wherever you are, then it's really nice because they'll, they'll update you within a couple hours after your mail gets in. Oh, and I totally forgot. They have an option where if you get a letter, and you want to know what it says, uh, you can have them open it and scan it and send it to you digitally. So if you get like some tax documents, you can just have those all digitally scanned and sent to your email, which is really nice uh, come tax season so everything's digitized. So that's it. That's how I get my mail in my RV and how I have my legal address for all of my taxes and uh, registrations and stuff. So if you guys have any questions, leave it in a comment below. Uh, and I'll get back to you as quick as I can. Otherwise, if you like this video, like and subscribe. I do two a week. And uh, share this with all your friends that are thinking about going into an RV. I know this is one of kind of the, the big things that you don't think about until later. But I wish someone would have told me this when we first started. Because it would have saved a lot of headaches. So, uh, well, see you later, guys.